Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Bablot Pure Drive 98. Previously known as the Viaz, the Pure Drive 98 offers speed, spin, power, and precision, but with a slightly smaller head and thinner beam from the standard Pure Drive. With the same tech as the rest of the family, players can expect stability thanks to the HTR system, dampening due to the SWX Pure Feel, and added spin potential from the FSI Power Tech. This one will be an ideal racket for anyone who already loves the Pure Drive but craves more control and targeting. It's no secret that the Pure Drive is my favorite family of rackets from Bablot, so I'm always excited when they have something new to offer, so much so that I hogged this racket most of the playtest, and playtesters were often looking for it, but it was in my bag. I really enjoyed hitting with this one. It's not going to be earth-shatteringly different from a Pure Drive, but I did notice that thinner beam and a little bit more control and feel. With that being said, it was so fun to blast balls from all areas of the court. I I loved it at net, I felt really dialed in, and of course on serves I could still find tons of power as I always enjoy with these rackets. I've been going back to the Pure Drive family a lot lately, the Pure Drive Tour has been in heavy rotation for me as well, so this is one that I think I could possibly customize and really fall in love even more with. So it was a great play test. My only gripe was I was hoping that the string pattern would maybe be a 16 by 20 like some of the other rackets in the Babolat family. The 16 by 19 string pattern was great, but I was looking for something a little bit more to differentiate it from the 100. But all in all, love this Pure Drive 98. The Pure Drive family is one that I know and love. I've used this racket, uh, variations of this racket, on and off throughout the years from the 100 to the plus, but this is the first time I've been on a review for a 98 square inch size Pure Drive, but I still found lots of familiarity with this racket. Uh, there was that standard Pure Drive power, but you do get a bit of extra control from that slightly smaller head size. The biggest difference I noticed for me was that it felt slightly firmer than the standard Pure Drive and maybe it comes from that slightly smaller head size. Like with a regular Pure Drive, my favorite shot today with this racket was the serve. I'm always looking for that added power and the Pure Drive delivers. I was getting good spin as well as power on that shot. When it came to point play, I really enjoyed this racket because I could go from defense to offense with ease. The depth comes easily. Overall, I really like this Pure Drive 98 and I think you should give it a try if you're looking for just a bit more control from the standard Pure Drive. I was a big fan of the previous Pure Drive VS and I've been a fan of the Pure Drive standard for gosh the last 20 plus years back to my high school days and I think players that like that Pure Drive VS will have no issues transitioning into this update. There's very small tweaks in the field to me otherwise it plays and feels very similarly. Now there's a couple rackets that I really like to groove with or have good practice sessions but don't like to play points. This one's the opposite. I love to play points with this. I could be, it offered a really controlled aggression so I could really set up my points with that little bit extra control that I got from it and then put them away with that standard pure drive power. When I approached the net, I had the most success punching that ball deep in the court to end the point. The feel is a little bit firmer, like Tiff said, and it was a little bit less forgiving than I would like. Now, on serves, there's very few rackets that I prefer to serve over return with, the standard pure drive being one of the exceptions. This one, I had a hard time deciding if I like to serve or return, which was a great problem to have. I had not as much power as a standard pure drive on the serve, but just enough and a little bit more precision, so I was still getting some free points. And all my returns, I loved being able to be aggressive and take full swings without any fears of overhitting. Overall, the Pure Drive 98 will go into my top three 98 square inch rackets along with the Yonix Ezo 98 and Vcore 98. Coming into this play test for this Pure Drive 98, uh, most of the Pure Drives that I've tested in the past uh, were like the Tour versions that they used to have, as well as the Rodic and the Rodic Plus back in the day. I mean, those were heftier, more solid plow through. So this one, what I noticed was definitely a maneuverable, very fast and whippy racket, as we like to say. For a 305 gram frame, it felt very maneuverable, comparing to like the Pure Aero 98, which has actually a higher swing weight, more plow through, and definitely compared to the Pure Strikes that we just recently tested, those 305s really have that higher swing weight. So fast easy to swing. For me, I probably would doctor it up with some uh, added tungsten tape up in the hoop just to get that stability on the volleys and a little easier plow through from the baseline. But what I liked about this racket is that thinner beam compared to your typical pure drive. 
gives you a little bit more feel out of this frame, a little bit more touch, and I felt more predictable on the slice and the drop shot. So I think this is a really unique blend uh, with that 98 and having that raw pure drive power. I would just probably customize it a bit and tinker around with the string and the tension to dial it in. But as far as the Babolat rackets go, I think I just prefer that uh, solid and a little bit more control and feel from some of the pure strike rackets. For this review, we tried a variety of different Babolat strings, polys, as well as hybrids. For the review today, we have the Babolat RPM Blast 17 gauge at 52 pounds. For more information on this racket or anything tennis related, be sure to head to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.